we just had our national night out. Yep. And mm -hmm. I don't remember what if you called it national night out or what's night to unite. Night to unite, I've seen that. Yeah. Okay, I don't, yeah, we're national night names. out. Okay, yep. you're national yep. night out. Tell us a little bit about Robin Stills event. Yeah, so I think this last year we had just about 80 uh, different block ah. parties. And um, it's been pretty consistent over the last few years. It's, there's been quite a, an increase, mm -hmm. I've probably seen the last 10 years. Right. And, and I've seen a lot more blocks uh, kind of join forces. Mm -hmm. And that's been kind of fun to see because the parties are getting a little bit bigger. Oh, sure. And it, it's really uh, a neat experience to be able to go to these different parties. Uh -huh. Um, because, you know, one particular party I went to, I uh, talked to a gal that had lived in Robbinsdale for 60 plus years. Oh, wow. And she had a new neighbor that just moved into Robbinsdale. So, you know, to, to, to be able to meet new residents and old residents oh, right. and kind of find out, hey, why did you stay in Robbinsdale? Yeah. And hey, why did you move to Robbinsdale? Yeah. And, and learn those things and meet people. And I, it's, uh, it's nice. And the other nice thing about it, too, is you know, how important it is for, for neighbors to get to know each other. Oh, yes. Uh, to keep our, our neighborhood safe and, you know, to make, a, make it more enjoyable. Well, and the, the block parties stem out of the neighborhood watch groups, right? Yeah. I, kind I, of? I, I think so. I'm not sure what organization or okay. how it all began, the National Night Out. Um, but I, I know a number of our surrounding cities participate in it. Right. And it, it's just a, it's a great avenue for us to, to communicate things within the city. Oh, you know, yes, yes. You know, you talk about people um, getting involved or, or contacting mm -hmm. their city council. You know, they can they can talk to their council members and uh, about issues. They can share good things. Mm -hmm. They can engage with the uh, police department about what they're doing and what's happening. And, but, you know, it's an opportunity to, to educate, too, on, oh, right. you know, as far as the police department goes and, and, and how and why we do things. Right. Oh, and the neighborhood watch groups are important in keeping your city safe. They are. You know, I'll give you a perfect example is, you know, when if somebody does, you know, get arrested. Right. It's usually because somebody called. Mm -hmm. It's not because a, necessarily a police officer was driving by. Uh -huh. So these neighborhood parties... When you get to know your neighbors, you know who belongs, you know who doesn't belong, you know what car belongs there, ah, what doesn't. Right, right. And, um, and when you know your neighbors, you care about them more. Definitely. And, and that is the key, um, to, well, any city really, right. for people to be engaged. And you know, the biggest thing that we're trying to communicate right now is that it's 911 response. Ah, Meaning. yes. Uh, yeah, because I keep asking people to make that point because <coughs> yep. people have some a little bit reluctance to call 911 yep. for things that you really <coughs> want them to call for, right? Exactly. Uh, people think 911 emergency. Right. And that's what it kind of used right. to be if you saw smoke or fire or whatnot. Uh, but now we're really stressing 911 response. Right. If you see something suspicious, um, Call 911. Right. If there's something in your neighborhood, and you know, there's no harm in you know keeping your neighborhood safe. Oh, We pay definitely. taxes, you know, right. for our, our department to respond to these things. And what's cool is when we do some of our community meetings, and we let people know that uh, their face just lights up. Uh -huh. And in fact, one gal told me, she, "I feel empowered." Ah. Now that you told me that. <laughs> Good. Because they hesitated. They didn't want to bother the police hey. department. There might be more pressing issues. Yeah. And but you know what? Let the police department decide that. They can um, sort it out. Exactly, exactly. And the, you know, one nice thing with Robinsdale too is we got a real strong department. Oh yeah. In a small city, that can be very responsive to mm -hmm. those types of calls. And it just happened the other night. We had um, you know some individuals that were uh, ar arrested as a result of a resident call. Uh -huh. So I, if we're gonna take anything away this summer, it's nine one one response. I'll remember that yeah. so I can focus on that with somebody else too. That, Absolutely, yeah. That it's very important for people to be to be given permission right. that when there's something not quite right, they should let the police know. Yep, absolutely. And um, so, yeah. Okay, good.